our warm-up activity today, we're going to play a game of Simon Says. So, follow along with me, and when I say Simon Says, you have to do what I do, but if I don't say Simon Says, then you freeze. So let's see, you got to pay attention. All right, here we go. Simon Says, put your hands on your head. Simon Says, put your right hand on your leg. Simon says, put your left hand on your leg. Simon says, to touch your shoulders. Simon says, touch your cheeks. Touch your head. Oh, did you do it? I didn't say Simon says. Let's play again. All right, Simon says, touch your knees. Simon says, touch the floor. Simon says, put your hands up in the air. Simon says, Turn into a T. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, cross your arms. Simon says, put your hands on your hips. Put your hands on your legs. Oh, did I catch you? Or did you, did you not move that time? All right, now, mom and dad, I want you to play a few more rounds of Simon Says with your child. It's great for attention and following directions and for spatial awareness, mix it up, have fun, and then switch roles and let your, your, your child be the one telling you what to do. So play for about five minutes and then meet me at the table. Bye. For this next activity, you're gonna need some things from the kitchen. You're gonna need a strainer, a towel, 10 pieces of uncooked spaghetti, and some Cheerios. So go ahead, get what you need, and meet me back here. All right, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna fold your towel however it fits best underneath your strainer like this. And then we're gonna have a race to see who can put their spaghetti in and a Cheerio on top first. All right, so we're gonna do it two times. What I want you to do is have the spaghetti noodles on one side and the Cheerios on the other. So this hand does the spaghetti and this hand does the Cheerios. Ready, on your mark, get set, go. You gotta be careful because it's really easy to break the spaghetti. And if you hold it at the bottom, it's easier to get it into the hole. There's two. It's kind of unfair because I've been practicing. Three, four. I wonder what number you're on. Uh oh, uh oh. It's seven, eight, nine. And my last one, 10. All right, I wonder if you beat me. So now we're gonna take them out and I'm gonna take them out by taking the Cheerio off first and then the spaghetti. It's easier to take them out, huh? All right. So we're gonna do it again. This time, we're gonna switch and we're gonna put the spaghetti on this side. And the Cheerios on this side. All right, are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. I wonder which way will be easier. I bet you've never played with spaghetti like this before, huh? Make sure you help clean it up when we're done. Let's see, that's number five, six, seven, eight. I don't know which way is harder. Nine 
and 10, almost, almost, almost. All right, oh, two of them went on that time. All right, so this time I'm gonna take all of it out by grabbing the noodles first. I think this is faster. And then all the Cheerios. So you can play this game as many times as you want. You can change the rules. You could just see how many noodles you can get in in 30 seconds or who can get the most done in two minutes. So you can change how you play it. Play it as many times as you want and have fun. See you at the next activity. All right, I hope you're ready for our next activity. We're gonna learn how to draw a porcupine. So what you're gonna need is a piece of paper, a pencil, and I used three crayons. I used black, brown, and green. So pause your video and go get your supplies. All right, so of all the things we've been learning to draw, this is the trickiest one. So do your best and just ask for help when you need it. So we're gonna start with his head. And his head we're gonna draw, and we're gonna draw lightly with our pencil, and we're gonna erase a few things, just like we did with our ice cream cone. So you're gonna start with his head, and you're gonna make like a big oval. So watch me. It almost looks like a turtle head right now. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna draw his nose so I can see where the tip is, like that. Okay? Then you're going to erase right in front of the nose and slant it up like that. Now I want to draw his mouth. So I need my little smile. And then I'm going to do his eye right about here and his ear like that. Now here's the tricky part. We're gonna draw the bottom half of his body. So I'm just gonna be drawing another big oval and we're gonna do some erasing. So I'm gonna start right in the middle of the bottom of his head. I'm gonna draw kind of like a curve like that. And I know it looks funny right now, but it'll look better in a minute. So we need to do his front leg. So right here, I'm gonna draw a leg. and then draw another little one behind it. But I want to erase these lines. So now it looks like his leg. And as you can see, I'm not the world's greatest artist, so my porcupine looks a little funny. <laughs> so now we're gonna do the back leg. And this is a C, do you see that? I'm gonna make a big letter C, like that, and then I'm gonna make his foot. I don't like how that turned out, so I'm gonna erase it. I want it to be more rounded like that. And then I'm gonna come up, go around. So now I need to erase this line. All right, so now we're actually gonna trace this so far. We're not gonna add this stuff until we use the crayon. So let's get the black crayon and trace what we have done so far. So I'm gonna trace his head, make his nose, and his eye, and his mouth, and his little ear, and then I'm gonna trace his body. His back leg, his foot, all right, now porcupines have quills all over them. That's what these things are. So you can take your crayon and you can just start making quills all over in all directions. Long ones, short ones. Until you think you have enough quills on your porcupine. And then you need to give him some whiskers like that. All right, now let's give him a pathway to walk on. So I'm gonna draw some brown, color some brown for dirt. 
And then, I'm gonna make some grass. Just making some lines. So there's my porcupine. Hope you had fun trying to draw one. All right, for our printing activity, what you're gonna need is a piece of paper with lines, a pencil, and you could even get some of your Cheerios back out from the other activity to use as spacers between your words. So what you're gonna do is copy down some fun facts about porcupines. Number one. A family of porcupines is called a prickle. The word porcupine in Latin means quill pig. A porcupine has more than 30,000 quills and porcupines are built for climbing trees. So do your best writing. Remember words are chunks of letters together with spaces in between and you can put a cheerio in between each word. All right. See you next time. Simon says, look up. Simon says, look down. Simon says, look to the left. Simon says, look to the right. Simon says, bark. You guys didn't bark. Bark. Good, you're not supposed to bark. Okay, Simon says, sit. So, oh, Simon says, say please. Say please. Please. Simon says, catch. Uh-oh. Monkey. Uh-oh. Read time. Simon says, catch. Simon says, catch. Simon says, catch. Simon says, sit. Good job, Recon. Simon says, sit, monkey, sit, sit. Good boy. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Simon says, catch. <laughs> Good job. Bye. See you next week.